POL requirements are a major concern to a division that moves fast, far, and travels by air. Resupply must be quick and plentiful. This 500-gallon rubber fuel container helps do the job. These drums can be carried by helicopters or pulled behind light vehicles over rough terrain. Refueling areas are established concurrently with air mobile attacks and within a short flying time of the objectives. Hours time into a din of activity as helicopters, which had just discharged combat troops on objectives, rush in to refuel and then stand by in logger areas for redeployment. The ordinary challenges of resupply are further magnified in an air mobile division by the requirement for minimum stockages in forward areas. Air mobile units must travel light and cannot be burdened with supplies beyond their immediate needs. To cope with that problem, small mixed loads of supplies are tailored, pre-palletized, and coded to meet the expected requirements of specific tactical units. Also, supplies are put through directly to the using unit whenever possible to cut down on time and man hours. struck and sustained the base. Rations replaced. Unlike POL, the requirements for rations within an air mobile division are no greater than in standard units, but they are requirements that must be met nevertheless. Both helicopters and organic ground vehicles are used to distribute rations to and within forward areas. Scaled down purification units, which are quickly set up and readily transportable by air, assure a plentiful supply of safe water from local sources. These lightweight luggage jugs are a non-standard item used by air mobile units. In any division, the systems and functions are dependent on each other for success. ...means assuring the daily resupply, or more often if required, of all necessary items to the frontline man, wherever he may be. An unglamorous job, perhaps, but an enormous one upon which the success of all other functions ultimately depends. Direct support maintenance is performed by aircraft maintenance companies organic to the division either in forward areas or at the division base. Direct support maintenance is limited to repairs that can be completed in 72 hours. 